Welcome to the Wednesday shave. Say hello. Look, who's there? Say hello. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> right, she's seen the microphone. So it's a hello from Millie. The other one's not so keen, so I'll take you back to mum, yeah? So we'll get on with the shave. Thought I'd just cheer your midweek up a bit. Say to then. <laughs> All right then. So, uh, that was the um, boss of the house there saying hello. Thank you, Mrs. H. That's the second boss. And Alice is the third and I'm the fourth. So know your place in the home. So how are you doing? Midweek is here again, thankfully. Um, one new product today. And that is this. Have you ever seen it, heard of it, tried it? Uh, Le Pierre. Lucien Savon de Babrier uh, Cologne Fougère. So it's a Fougère Cologne uh, shaving. It's a crope. I spotted it online. Quite like the Fougère. And very full. Very. Full. I've just taken some out there, you can see, but it's a very full puck tin. Nice tin. Um, smells nice. A Fougère, as you know, or you may not know. I put in the fine. I haven't spread it this time, you're going to see how it does in that. Um, it's a sort of uh, pine, green, earthy, uh, fresh, outdoorsy scent, uh, which I like. So that's that. Brush of choice today is one I haven't used for a while. These are one of my old best brushes. The Smoke 820 at the top there, the middle, top shelf. And this is its uh, brother or sister. And this is the Samog 820, 830, 820. It's a blonde bore knot. That's been soaking. So I can go in for a minute. Um, as I say, I'm going to use the uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, the uh, Phantom Blue. Uh, this is an open comb slanted razor. You've seen it, have you ever used it? I love this, this opaque, this see-through. Then you can tell on here. But uh, there's a hair there, wasn't there? Not mine, not that long. And it's, uh, as you can see, a very slanted open comb. Three piece, non adjustable. And the only part of metal in this is the thread and the um, screw and thread. So, what are we going to use? Uh, a blade I really enjoy and I've just got a new stock of, and that is the uh, Gillette Nasset stainless blade, very good blade. Uh, this is brand new in the package. So how's it going? All right. I was just thinking this razor matches my glasses. And <laughs> all right, make sure that's uh, just make sure that's sitting. There we go. Here we are. That. And there we are. You'll hear it. Um, creak and click as we tighten it up probably as it moves the blade oh maybe not that's nice and tight there is overhang to be aware of good bit and that's how it sits a good thing with this color you can see the blade quite well um in there it sits nicely it is on an angle so it may not look um well it is actually if you can see it's more prominent this side and it sort of goes in a bit that side, you can see. And it's the same on both. It's because it's on a quite a severe angle there. Okay, so we start lathering up. So uh, I don't know if you can tell how much Millie has grown. Um, she's still the boss and scratched the hell of <laughs> yeah, And that's her playing. But she's become very... Ve nice, very uh, enjoying of um, affection, nice and calm, you know. So she's she likes that touch of water. 
there. I'm holding, I'm going to hold a thumb. So we're halfway through another week, eh? Well, I hope it's a good start for you. And there's no problem lathering that up. It looks quite airy from here. So we'll see how we get on. I think that'll do us. That'll... We'll try that. Leave that there. So we're sort of in that position. And using that um, brush cleaner, if you remember a while ago I shown you the... Um, I forgot the name of it now. It'll come to me in a minute. Um, it's just like a, a like a soap, and you just lather your brush in it. Zingman, Lingman, Zingman, something like that. It's that's uh, lovely. Oh, I got the old uh, uniform on. You can't see, can you? There you go, the Blood and Blade, <laughs> they could name that, Blood and Blade, good pub name that wouldn't it, you coming down the Blood and Blade, uh, I'll give it a miss then, here we go, beautiful brush, these brushes, as I say, ball brushes, but the more you use them, the more they've become like a badger brush soft. Beautiful. This is a very, very sort of a, it's a nice lather, very light lather, feels very. I'll do it. What's on the shave menu today, if you're having one? We'll heat the plastic up. <laughs> well, if anything, we'll heat the blade up. That's lovely. Here we go. First pass. Phantom Blue PAA. Gillette Nasset brand new. I have used the razor before. Very efficient, very light, as you'd probably be aware. Weather, we always speak about the weather in this country. It's part of a conversation starter. Hello, how are you? Beautiful weather, isn't it? Yes. People asking about his lordship. He's very well. He hasn't got COVID, but he's scared to come in here. But he will appear. I did ask about the new year. Very mild scent. It's there, it's present. Uh, it's a very nice uh, cream. Now I'm not sure how you'd think this razor would be. How would you guess that would feel? Aggressive? Mid? Um, I don't really like to judge too much on the first pass because there's so many whiskers. Protecting the skin, it doesn't give a very sort of accurate feeling. So the second pass now, because that pass then felt quite mild. Um, 
Well, it depends what, obviously, what blade you're using as well. Use a feather, it'll feel more aggressive. This is nice. I love this ball. So that's gathered that. Yeah, so the weather's warmed up, which is nice. Um, but the only thing when it warms up like that, instead of having frost and snow, we have uh, rain. <laughs> but it wouldn't be Britain would it, without rain. Well, it certainly wouldn't be Wales, isn't it? Well, it's a gorgeous scent. If you like the sort of fougere, sort of outdoorsy, piney, wood, earthy, fresh scent. Very light. It's a light lather, this. You could, I suppose, there's a good bit of cream in there, so it should. I think this is it, if, unless you went on and on and on. It's quite an airy lather, you can tell. Um, not far off a foamy effect. But it, um, it's doing the job. It's a lovely scent. It's good slickness. So we'll see this razor now if it's on. Yeah, so now that's a lovely blade. Watch under your nose with that overhang. See it? It's quite uh, quite an airy lather. So it's not the best if you like a thick, creamy, dense lather. Um, I think you'd be well. You get a good shave, but you would be a bit disappointed. Eh? So it's quite. A, a light lather. As I say, it's no good for filming, for looking at it. But it's it's doing the job. Yeah, so I'd say that's um uh, just high end, mild into mid aggression on that pass. Very slick soap, even though it's quite airy. Very slick. Yeah, so it's I mean, you can keep going, keep going, keep going. But it's still that sort of um, airiness to it. It's either Lingman, I put it down on the screen probably earlier on, the name of that, so brush cleaner. They do shaving soap. I think a few people have said it's quite nice. So I must try that. Their brush cleaner is very nice. And it certainly worked, I can feel it on this. It was getting a bit scratchy and, you know, um, but good lathering that, soaked, let it sit in the lather and then rinsed and rinsed and did it again. Um, oh, I did one of them twice, I did a few brushes, some Oaks and a few of the sort of less expensive, the Wilkinson sword brushes, the standards, and they work very well for them, you know, so it just helps keep them and you can certainly tell the difference on that anyway third pass phantom blue nice razor very light make a good travel razor if you like that sort of stuff very efficient If I'm honest, looking at the tin, um, that's what got me to it, because I thought it was a nice, you know, this uh, looks like a stainless steel tin. Um, 
looks a well established um, well judging by the look of the, the tin it looks a well established um, company salt maker so I'm slightly disappointed in the lather in a way it's working but I would have liked a bit more sort of structure to the lather Ooh, look don't know if I caught that with the edge over the blade it's a nice scent it's mild and it's slick so I won't it won't go to waste um, I had a, <laughs> did a silly thing today I don't know if you've ever done this uh, not today yesterday I went um, into the kitchen, there was a parcel waiting, and I opened it, I said, what's this? And all these shaving creams, blades, um, and other stuff. I thought, I, I thought, who sent this? So, <laughs> it was stuff I'd ordered, uh, you know, it must have been, it's got to be about four weeks three four weeks um, and I'd forgot so I'm trying to puzzle because I wasn't sure if somebody would sent it and I thought nobody said good for under the nose So I class this as a very light foamy scent, but it works. I'm glad it works because it doesn't want to waste then. Otherwise you end up using it in the shower. <laughs> right, well, hang on. What time is it? Three, two, one. Pick up time, baby. Pick up time. Yeah, it's a lovely scent. You see that's it goes on nicely like that and then it'll just sort of start to aerate a bit but it may work with your water maybe my water doesn't suit this soap for some reason I've no idea but I don't usually get um, any problems uh, yes yeah, so I've got some new shaving cream um, I don't think I've seen it before but now I'll search on YouTube and I'll probably see lots of I didn't buy it because it's because I haven't seen it before I just bought it because I uh, I know the brand but I didn't know they did it in this sort of way this uh, format should we say so I bought some of that and new blades I'd not heard of or tried. Um, oh, and a shaving foam in a tin. I'm not going to go back to that, don't worry. I just bought it because I've never, again, uh, especially in this country, I've never seen, it's a well-known brand, in a shaving foam. So I've bought that, I'll try it at some point. Um, So the razor, very nice, very light, does the job. Um, on the first pass, it feels mild. That's because of the whiskers. And then the second pass, it feels sort of high end mild into mid aggression. But as people say, your mileage may vary. That's lovely.
Yeah, very nice. Cold water. Right, let's give it a... thing is these flowers they're in here for very very little time really and then they're moved downstairs for us to look and enjoy always gives you cheers you up as you pass them a bit of colour so that's what we look like doesn't make you good looking but uh, inside you feel damn good so with a fougere scent, I find it goes very well with a menthol thing theme. So I'm going to go with this homemade, this uh, menthol witch hazel I made. We come into the bottom, so I'll have to do another another bottle of this. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. Just a hint of witch hazel and a, there's more sort of menthol to it. Really nice, but not overpowering. I played about with it as I made it. And yeah, good stuff. And then an aftershave I've not used for a while. I've come to the end of this bottle, I've got more there. And this is the um, Alcol, 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 what's it called? Alcalado Glacial Refreshing Invigorating Mentholated Splash Lotion. When I first bought this, I found it. I bought three of these bottles and they are. Oh God, leave them on, Paul. <laughs> Does it say what they are? Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Trying to see what the size is. Anyway, 125ml or 4.2 ounces. A uh, four ounce bottle. So I bought three of them. I think it was something like uh, two pounds or three pounds. Uh, after that, did they rock it in price? Whew. Not sure what happened there, but I think other people must have found them and made them very popular. So the, oh, that's, <laughs> that makes you. <laughs> Made it pop wow, it makes it popular. I forgot that. that's quite a kick to that. Mm, not sure if the old uh, fellow would like that. He'd probably he'd laugh about the feeling, I suppose, if he was here. Um, and then uh, whew, makes the eyes water. Can you see too much on there? Uh, the classic Arco, no olive oil in it, just the well, it might be, but it doesn't state it, it's just a standard. The old fashioned stuff. Yeah, it's nice. Very thick this. If I can see. Wow, that's quite that's quite powerful. I forgot how strong that is actually. <laughs> Get your menthol kick. And of course it clears your eyes out. <laughs> And that is it. Oh, that feels lovely. Smooth, cool. There was a fair bit of um, sting to that as well, uh, which I don't mind. That's lovely. Wow. I enjoyed that one, I thought. Um, it's made up for the foamy lather. So we've used the PAA um, Phantom Blue, three piece non adjustable. Um, see through uh, translucent transparent off you know see through um, slanted open comb very nice very nice um, as I say it's a high end mild to mid aggression with that blade Gillette Nasset fantastic brand new this uh, Le Pierre Lucien Savon de Babier so Cologne so it's a Fougere Cologne um, 
I mean the packaging is beautiful the cream itself is nice the scent gorgeous very mild um, good slickness and protection but it's quite foamy and it does dissipate a bit um, but it worked um, some Oak 820 the fine lather bowl Welsh water to rinse alkali <laughs> glacial men very mentally <laughs> frozen lips M mentally splash lotion very mentally uh, splash lotion lovely stuff I still feel it now and the Arco Classic to put a bit of care back on the skin and uh, I've hmm, what's this have I missed a bit oh that's off the it's the shaving cream just a couple of um, weepers there today nothing major they'll stop just now but very pleased with that as it all turned out so um, thank you for watching thanks again for your comments um, I do reply when I can um, if not I'll give you the heart to, for you to know I've read this but I read them all and enjoy them so many thanks for that the channel's just surpassed 17,000 subscribers unbelievable if you think of that many people in a in a oh, bear thinking of <laughs> but um thank you so much to all my old subscribers from the start and the people have joined all the way and to present new ones um it's a very uh informal uh, place it's just standard shaves and uh, hopefully pleasantries um, the respect for each other with the hobby as it has now become really nice um, yeah so very very pleased with that and very lucky you've made it you've made the channel so thank you so much um, that is it uh, probably some new stuff again on when uh, Sunday we'll see what I use there uh, I do change my mind sometimes but uh, it'll be a nice shave I'm sure so many thanks have a great uh, rest of the week stay safe and happy if you can and I'll see you on Sunday for the weekend shave. All the best, over and out, baby.